Welcome back to another college football matchup between the Arizona State Sun Devils versus the Wyoming Cowboys. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Wyoming get the ball to start off the game and here on third and 13 the quarterback has time in the pocket and airs one out and it is caught by the receiver for a first down and that is a gain of 65 yards on that play and the ASU fans are in shock and that was a great throw by Evan Savavida to his receiver number nine and look at that arm strength he has and that catch that number nine makes great play for the Cowboys to start off this game here on third and four the stadium pulse meter is at the very max and the pass is completed to number 21 for a first down it is at the seven yard line setting up Wyoming for a first and goal with 130 left here in the first quarter here on third and goal they have a man in motion it's a jet touch pass and both guys almost run into each other but number 21 the running back is able to get into the end zone and that is Durr Jr. who puts up the first points of the game as Wyoming take a 7 to nothing lead over Arizona State with a few seconds left here in the first quarter here on first and 10 the quarterback has a play action pass and works it towards the right side of the field and completes it to his receiver number three for the first down smith as they take it near midfield at the 44 yard line as the first quarter comes to an end wyoming lead the sun devils seven to nothing here on second and one they hand it off to the running back who has nice blockage and finds some space on the right hand side of the field and that is number four Scatabo, who takes it all the way up to the 29 yard line and let's take a look at the replay right there as he turns on the jets breaks the tackle and forces his way for the nice gain here on third and eight the quarterback snaps the ball and quickly throws over the middle and completes it to his receiver inside the 10 yard line that is number three that comes up with the catch and they will complete it to the six yard line setting up arizona state for a first and goal and that was a tight window but a great route by the receiver and a phenomenal pass by the quarterback as we hit the two minute warning mark here on second and goal they hand it off to the running back who cuts up the middle and gets into the end zone and that is number four with the salute scatabo for the touchdown and we are all tied up at seven apiece with a minute 18 left here in the first half and let's take a look at the replay right here to see how that play unfolded he had some nice blocks up front and turned up the Jets to run downhill and get into the end zone. Great run by Cam Scatabo. Here on first and 10, the quarterback quickly throws it over the middle and gains eight yards on the play, setting up a second and two as Wyoming take their first time out of the half. Here on third and two, the quarterback quickly fires it down the middle of the field to his running back, who takes it right around the 47 yard line as Wyoming take their second timeout and are looking to score before the end of the first half. Wyoming is looking to get to the line as fast as possible and the quarterback surveys the field, has time in the pocket, works it down the middle and gets to about the 36 yard line and within the fringes of field goal range with just over 30 seconds left here in the first half and taking a look at the replay right there, the receiver does a great job to get the inside leverage on his defender. Wyoming set up to be in field goal range and it looks to be just a hair under 50 yards and it splits the uprights as Wyoming 
will take a 10 to 7 lead over Arizona State going into halftime and the kick almost looked to be blocked but the kicker is able to get it through and get the three points for Wyoming. Here on the first play of the second half, they hand it off to the running back, Scatabo, who breaks the tackle in the backfield and pushes his way forward up to the 45-yard line to get a Arizona State first down. Here on first and 10, the quarterback hands it off on a halfback draw right up the middle, and he gains 10 yards on the play to get the first down right around the 30-yard line. Here on 1st and 10, the quarterback has time in the pocket and works the right side of the field as the receiver is able to cut back to the right side of the field and get into the end zone. And that is number 20, Santos, with the reception and the touchdown as he celebrates in the end zone with a sleep signal to the other team. And Arizona State are going to take a 14-10 lead over Wyoming here in the third quarter and look at the replay right there as the defender takes a poor angle and leaves the touchdown wide open for the tight end here on second and 12 they hand it off to the running back who finds lots of space on the left hand side and cuts it all the way into arizona state territory at the 45 yard line and let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the play unfolded and how the running back Harrison Whaley was able to get a nice gain on the play and he had great blocks on the left hand side and used the Jets to gain lots of yardage on that play. Right here on the next play on first and 10 the quarterback works the left side of the field once again and completes his pass to the tight end number 83 for the first down at the 25 yard line. Here on 2nd and 7, they have a man in motion and 83 takes the ball and has the right side wide open as he takes it into the end zone. And he celebrates putting the go to sleep sign towards the Arizona State sideline. And just like that, with 1 second remaining here in the 3rd quarter, Will Pelissier takes a 17-14 lead over Arizona State. And here on the first play of the drive, they have a wide receiver screen and he gets great blocks up front, taking it all the way up to the 42 yard line. Here on first and 10, the quarterback quickly throws the pass to a tight window to his receiver who gets past the defender and turns on the Jets where the safety can't catch him and gets into the end zone. That is number 9, Omere with the touchdown on the play and Arizona State are going to take a 21 to 17 lead over Wyoming with 324 left here in the fourth quarter and let's take a look at the replay right there as a free defender gets through and it goes through the hands of the defender straight into the receiver and that could have been a pick six for Wyoming's defense but it turns out to be a huge explosive play by the Sun Devil offense right there and let's take a look at the replay right there straight through the hands of the defender that puts him in a bad position where he cannot catch up to the receiver great play by the Sun Devils and the kick is up and they get the extra point right there and the Sun Devil stakes his claim right there and with 324 left we got a good game going Wyoming are quickly making their way downfield and here on first and 10 the quarterback slings it to the right hand side of the field completing it to his tight end number 84 and they are going to use a timeout right here their first of the half setting up with a first and goal at the six yard line with a minute 26 left in the fourth quarter and the stadium pulse meter is at the very top as the crowd is getting loud to get their defense on their feet and now it is second and goal for wyoming at the two yard line here on third and goal the quarterback gets a slant route and the receiver is wide open the defender was nowhere there as number 83 celebrates the touchdown and gives wyoming a 24 to 21 lead 
over Arizona State with just under a minute left here in the fourth quarter. And that is Will Pelissier with the catch right there. And the defender has to do a better job on that play. And here on the first play of the drive, the quarterback works the right side of the field and is immediately picked off by the Wyoming defender as 42 comes up with the pick, setting up the Wyoming offense at the 11 yard line. And this game is now all but over as a field goal can really seal the game. And Arizona still has three timeouts, so they have to get a stop on three downs right here. And let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the corner Tyresis Davis came up with that play. And that was a forced throw that the quarterback would love to have back. And here on second and three, Wyoming handed off to the running back and are going to ice the game right here. That is number four, Wei Li, that comes up with the touchdown right here as Wyoming are going to take a two possession 10 point lead over Arizona State with 41 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And let's take a look at the replay right here as the hole opened up. He got the proper blocks and easily got into the end zone. Arizona State with 14 seconds remaining in the game worked the left side of the field and the receiver beats his man. That is number 12 that comes up with the touchdown and this makes things a little bit interesting as the Sun Devils have a little bit of life in them. Malik McLean with the touchdown reception right there and Arizona State have got to get the onside kick and try and score three points within that 10 second period. Can they do it? Let me know in the comments below. Arizona State sets up for the onside kick right here, but it is picked up by the Wyoming player number two, and they will now go into victory formation and run out the clock. Wyoming will defeat Arizona State 31 to 28. Let me know in the comments below, who do you guys think will win this game in real life? And what do you guys think the score will be? If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support. If you're a fan of college football and the NFL, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.